Welcome back game developers. As you can see I have changed the level just a little bit. I added three cannons instead of one and angled them a little bit and you know added some uh, bits of fluff here and there, skybox, just to make things look a little nicer. Of course the brick wall is still looking kind of boring but you know um, we can get to that later. Now what we want to do is add the text here. Now of course you don't want to just go with uh, Comic Sans MS or like uh, Times New Roman because that would just uh, make your game yawnable from the start so you want something that you like and I found a font called let me see what is it called VTKS Distress and I actually find all my fonts on I'll show you the website dafont.com there's a lot of fonts on there and um, some of them are actually free to use you just look at the license and then you know you can download them and this one is free to use so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new folder here uh, inside of graphics create folder and call this folder fonts alrighty then then I'm going to just going to drag this font in there and boom unity imports it now it sounds pretty logical by now because unity pretty much imports everything that way but if you have a game design background that goes a little bit further back than five years then you know that that's a huge time saver because importing fonts into game engines is absolutely horrible to do except for here in Unity 3D. Okay, so now we have that font and as you can see when I open it up it shows me a font texture and this is what you used to have to do manually and it shows as a font material basically uh, wrapped around the default kind of thing, you know what I mean? Uh, the donut and whatnot. Okay, so uh, we have these now. Now we need to make sure that they work in the level. Now to do that, let me uh, drag the game out and go back to our scene view. Rotate a little bit. We uh, start and create a GUI text. So to do that, go to Game Object, Create Other, and then 3D Text. I'm sorry, I said GUI Text, I mean 3D Text. And 3D Text is basically text that hovers around in 3D space right here. All right, so we need to rotate this because right now it's facing the other way. So we need to rotate it minus 180. And as you might notice, this text is pretty blurry. Okay, um, it's not looking very good. I do realize that, but we can fix that in just a second. All right, I want to move this in front of the brick here a little bit. Um, but the tricky thing about GUI text is that they're always rendered so they could be behind this worm and it still shows Right, so you have to position it in such a way that nothing blocks it Okay, now we have this um, We want to apply our own texture and it already shows VTK distress because we had it selected when we made it now if it doesn't show that you need to drag the right one on there however, it also shows a font material here if that one is set to a different one, you need to drag the font material in there and make that work also. Now, to uh, get rid of the blurriness, there's a couple of things that we need to do. Um, let's first go into our font here and change the font size to, for example, 30. And hit apply. Right now our text is a lot bigger. Let me actually change it to 60, make it even bigger. And as you can see, our text is still blurry at the side, but it's less now. Now the way, uh, the reason why it's blurry is because we have anti-aliasing set to our font rendering. That means it basically makes the edges a little fuzzy, which is a good thing because otherwise it just looks like graphics from the 80s. Okay, so now that we have that font size blown up inside of the font, let's go back to our new text and in our character size, change it back to smaller, so something like 0 0.3, 0 0.25. And as you can see, the blurriness is now gone because we blew up the text size and then made it smaller in our character size. So that also makes the anti-aliasing a little smaller, as you can see here, but it gets rid of the blurriness. Okay, so that's basically how to add text. Now let's change this text. We don't want it to say hello world. We want it to go play game, right? Okay, so let's position that in the middle a little bit. And let's duplicate this one, edit and duplicate, and let's call this one Worminator, because that's the name of our game. Okay, 
let's go back to our game here and then rotate a little bit just to give a little bit of a funky feel all right now to make sure that we can select it in the 3d space uh, we need to add a collider so go to game objects and then physics and then box collider and that shows us a nice green little outline that we've become very comfortable with over time now and that basically collides with anything in the world and also it can collide with your mouse as it's hovering over so that's what we'll do next is add the code to make this work let's make ourselves a new script in our script folder and let's call this one um, text control or text behavior well control will do it's consistent with what we've been doing so far and let's attach this to our text object here hold on let me make sure I have the right one selected let's change its name to play game text all right and then the other one let's call this one text title all right then the play game one has a um, has a collider and the other one doesn't because this is just for style okay so uh, we apply the text control on it and now let's open up this text control and start adding some code and we don't need the update function we actually need on mouse enter and the reason why this function doesn't turn up yellow is because on it needs to be with a capital now that's basically all that we need to do for the code of the mouse I mean it's that simple unity handles all the difficult stuff for us so now we can for example change the color of the text by typing renderer dot material dot color equals color dot well let's go for green for example now notice that the first renderer is not with a capital because it refers to the game object this is attached to but a second one the uh, variable color dot green refers to the colored class of unity and that of course does use a capital but not the green one okay so let's play our game see what happens when we hover over and as you can see it does turn green now our camera is looking a little ugly there uh, it needs to move away a little bit or we can change the aspect ratio to 16 9 all right so let's play this again so that looks a little better all right now of course we need to change it back to normal when the uh, mouse hovers out so let's change that let's go back to our text control and copy and paste this function and call it on mouse exit and bring the color black to color dot white okay you can choose whatever color you want of course so now when we hover over our menu it actually works okay now next week I will show you how to actually get the click registration uh, from the play game item here as well as we add a quit button and maybe some other things to quit the application or the game and after that we will look at how to export our game for the Mac and for the PC and basically that will conclude our tutorial from there so pretty exciting stuff ahead and this really starts looking like a real game.